Brothers and sisters, we are living and are walking in the last days, and many people are blind to see this. I say this because many of the prophecies of what Jesus spoke, or which are come are to come in the last days, are just coming to pass. We're no, we're not in the last days. We're in the last hour of the last days. That's how bad this these days are. That's how literally terrible it's becoming now. How farther and farther society is moving from God. And that's the unfortunate reality. You can literally see this with the youth. The youth is just absolutely, it's just terrible. It's just, you just, you can see in how far it's departing away from the Almighty and just moving closer to the Satan, moving closer to the world. For Jesus says, he who is of the world is an enemy to God. My fellow brothers and sisters, we need to be out here preaching the gospel. We need to do more for the kingdom of God. I must do more as well from, I must do more for my, for the kingdom of God as well. It's not just you guys. It's me too. We all got to do more for the kingdom. Because this is just getting bad. Because the parents are just failing to do their job at parenting their children. And you know, leading them. Growing them up in the proper way of being a servant of the Lord. And doing it the way God wanted them to uh, teach their children. And the pastors themselves are failing the people. I don't know who to blame. More of the parents or the pastors. But they're both doing terrible. We have the pastors now, wolves in sheep's clothing, preaching that church anity, that fleshly anity, that hippo Christians popping out here and there. The pastors are preaching grace, 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 love, 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 instead of repentance and hellfire and turn to Jesus Christ and all that type of stuff. They're just preaching half the gospel and not full, not the full thing. And that's many pastors today in America, unfortunately. Grace, 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 love, love, love. As if the whole entire thing of repentance and hellfire and fearing the Lord thy God. But yes, the youth is just awful. To continue on that, the youth, more on these games, more on them phones, rather than the word of God. They're focused on things of this world. They're partying hardy. <laughs> you hear that they all smoke. They're all, getting into this vaping thing. Many of them at my school are just like smoking weed and vaping a lot. I'm just like... Swearing here and there, left, right, and center. I'm like, who is teaching these kids? Who's who is teaching them how to be like um, grown up? Who's teaching them how to live according to the word of God? And it seems like no one is doing that. No one is teaching them how to grow, how to teach them how they should be, and how they should grow up correctly. And these people saying they don't. Like, this is another thing. People, you need to read your Bibles. You need to read the Word of God. Stop telling me that you're Christian, yet you don't even have time to read the Word of God. Don't tell me that you're Christian, yet you don't even read God, read the Bible. Don't tell me that you're Christian, yet you don't even obey the Word of God. You know, live by it. Stop telling me that. You're just simply deceiving yourself and you're being a hypocrite. And you make Christianity look bad. Please, stop calling yourself a Christian. Because you don't walk in the way of Christ. If you're living in sin every single day of your life. If you're just reading more. I mean, watching... Uh, I mean, being no more on your phones rather than the word of God. If you're just swearing every second, you, every second you get and using God, the Lord's name in vain. Please stop telling me that you're Christian. Now, please stop telling me that you're Christian. Yet you're getting drunk. Yet you're getting high. Yet you're having sex before marriage. Simply stop it. You're a hypocrite, and you're on your way to hell. And you need to repent, or you will perish. And that's the facts. Same with you. Same with if you're if you're vaping and getting high with your weed. Please stop telling me that you're Christian. Anyways, sorry, I think kind of, <laughs> for those who were, were, you know, doing those things, you need to stop and get right with God. I need to repent or you will perish, Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, and walk in the way of holiness and walk in the way how God wants you to be in righteousness as well. But yes, to give more examples, you know, this culture, our society is moving further away from God. We're embracing more of this atheistic nonsense. You know, we're embracing homosexuality and abortion. This is a show of how more of a society is getting away from God and this feminism. This feminism that's popping out like crazy. More contentious women. Women think it's fine to walk out in these yoga pants, leggings, booty shorts with their butt hanging out and their breasts hanging out. And we've got men walking out like they're females, like they're ladies now. <laughs> we live in a day and age where we got men thinking they're women and women think they're, thinking they're men. This is how bad, this is how messed up our society is becoming. And we got just these rumors of wars and wars. You see the thing with Iran and the fear-mongering the media is just putting on? 
th these days that we're living in, brothers and sisters, we're in the last days. Christ is coming back soon. And who I don't know when the Antichrist is going to pop out. Pop up. We, I, I, I believe that he's already like up and up and about right now, doing something, planning something, probably. Lord knows. But uh, I'm just this. That was just the that was just me thinking there. I don't know for sure, for sure what he's doing right now. But um, but I do know for sure that we are in the last hours of the last days. We are in the last days, and Christ is coming back soon to judge this earth. You know, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. If we do not have Jesus, if you are not saved, and you cannot go to that, you know, you cannot go to the kingdom of God. If you're following a religion and not Jesus Christ, you cannot go to the way you cannot enter the kingdom. Right? Jesus Christ never created a religion or said to follow one. Jesus says to follow me to become born again. You have to follow Jesus and what he says, not what man says, not what tradition says, not what religion says, but what the Almighty God, what Almighty God says. So you need to repent to the gospel. You need, be, you need to repent and become born again. For if you're not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, John 3, 3. You need to repent and turn to the gospels. You need to stop dressing immodestly and dress modest. The Bible even says to dress modest in, in 1 Timothy 2, 9. And that you do nothing that may cause a man, cause your brother to stumble, uh, be offended, or made weak. Romans 14, 21. Stop being a temptress. Stop being a tempter. Same goes with you, man. But um, you know, you stop your sex before marriage. Stop your forning. Stop yeah. Stop your masturbation. Stop watching your pornography. Pornography is actually also adultery. Come on now. And stop supporting homosexuality. God did not. You're not born gay. You're not created gay. You're not born into. You're not born into sin. God did not make you into sin either. Stop, stop saying that you're born gay because you're not. God created you know, them male and female. Not man and man. God did not create Adam and Steve, but Adam and Eve. You have to walk in holiness. You have to walk in the spirit. God can set you free if you are gay. He can turn you from gay and make you straight and make you normal. And that's the truth of the gospel. So we have ex-homosexuals. We have ex-transgenders. We have ex-lesbians. Change to the grace and mercy of, of Almighty God. And you can watch your testimonies by doing a simple YouTube search. Or by asking one yourself. Go ahead. Email. But you gotta turn away from your sins, folks. You gotta get right with God. If you're a sinner and if you don't if you're not saved. But this goes to you, Catholics. This goes to you, uh those who uh, Muslims and you Buddhists and uh Hindus. You need to get right with God. You need to turn away from your sins. You need to turn away from your religion and turn to Jesus Christ. I myself used to be a Catholic. Great, through the grace of God and through the mercy and through him opening my eyes to truth, uh, let me out of that church. And he could do the same to you. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to all the truth. Jesus says that the Holy Spirit will do so. He will lead you to the to all the truth. He is the helper. He will help you. He's not the doer, though. He's not going to do it for you. You have to do it yourself, but he will help you. Ask God to help you. He will. But you have to do it ultimately yourself. Get right with God, folks. Get right with God. Read your Bibles. Read the word for how can you live according to the word of God if you're not reading it. You know, when you read the word of God, it's like, you know, you're putting logs on the fire of your faith. So read the word. Live according to it. If you're not, don't tell me that you're Christian. If you're not, if you're living in sin every day, don't tell me that you follow Jesus and that you're a Christian because you're not. You're a lukewarm Christian on, on his or her way to hell. You need to repent. So get right with God, folks. Learn to learn to uh, follow the Lord. Read your Bible. Turn away from your sins and be born again. Ask the Lord to help you, and lead, and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to all the truth. Repent or perish. And that's all I have to say in this message. We are in the last days. Get right with God while you still can. See God while you still can be found. Time is short. Time is ticking. Tick tock. Where will you be if you die tonight? Heaven or hell? Where would you go? Get right with God, folks. Repent. Turn to the Gospels. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Praise the King. God bless you. And God, in the name of Jesus, my fellow brothers and sisters, stay in the word. Repent. Amen.